Patrick Paul here in the Nissan Leaf again. I've got a dash cam which I would like to wire nice and tidily up through the top here. So I will show you what I'm doing to try and make that happen. Okay, if you turn that around like that, you can see there's a, a socket there with some power to the rear view mirror and if you get it just right there's a tab back there yeah try with this hand oh, there we go so that allows you to turn that around there this you can just pull off like that and that pulls up like that so the new wiring will come and run down here and the next step is to pull this map light unit off and you do that by pulling down on this front edge and I've actually already just done it but even so it's quite hard and then forward and you'll see those slots come off now in my case this was actually screwed in you can just see where the screw's been pulled out. It was screwed in from above, so there was no way I was ever going to get that without some severe force. Okay, so the plan is to tap into one of these wires that has 12 volts and use that to power the dash cam and then also run the wires that power the rear mirror as well. This one comes with a front and rear mirror so those two cables will be going down through here now it turns out that i've actually already fed my the rear view camera uh in under this lip using this bit of plastic which allows me to pull it through here and then i can Undo that. Alright, so that can just come out. That I want to go through here and down through here. Okay, I've tied um, the rear view cable connector and the power connector. Take those onto my piece of flexi plastic. And if I'm very lucky, there we go. Done. All right, so I've got these cables through, plug them into the dash cam. you need to unplug that. So that is going to go like that. Make sure that is in the right place. And then this is going there. So that's good. And then where's my I'm lucky. I'll cover all that nicely.
a tight fit. There we go. Lovely. Like that. And then this one, the thongs go in here. Oh, look at that. Like a bought one. Fantastic. Oh, that's tidy. All right. So. The cable for the rear camera, I'm going to pull there. Now, the way this is powered is there's a um, car socket to 5 volts, 1 amp USB, basically, um, converter. What I might do is just get a socket uh, wiring up to there and then put all of this cable up in the ceiling. Either that or I cut the cable and rejoin it. And that's possibly more trouble than it's worth because there's a, a huge amount of space in here. So I don't really need to. Uh, you can remove the light part of this uh, on that, feeding that through. That makes it a bit easier to work on. Now, according to the internet, red is 12 volts and Black is negative. I'm looking for 12 volts. Must be around here somewhere. Okay, after spending a lot of time looking for 12 volts up here, or up here, what I discovered is on my car at least, this is a very early 2011 Nissan Leaf, the serial number is 9000 and something. Um, there's 5 volts going to there, and there's 7 volts and 12 volts coming to here, but it's a permanent 12 volts, it doesn't turn off when you turn the car off. So that's no good for a dash cam, because I don't want the dash cam running 24-7. That would be silly. Uh, so the new plan is to run the power cable, this, down into beside the glove box to the um, power fuse box on the left hand side of the car. To feed this all the way back into there and then um, power this into the 12 volts that's down there and I know that from doing the seat heaters. So um, I'm in the process of refeeding it all the way back here and then I'll tuck it along down this seam. So let's do that. Good. That's good. 
I don't need to do anything more with this. Why it was screwed in, because otherwise it droops. Okay, in order to get down through here into the innards without making too much more mess, I'm going to I'm going to cut this forward and feed it through uh, back there. Yeah. 
Okay, that's gone in very nicely. All right, from this point, there's a um, run of wires that comes up through this gland, and if I can feed the socket all the way through, which will be tricky because it's contorted, um, then I'll be able to run this out to where the where the rear camera sits on the back of this this um, back panel. So I've got this through to this point here, and now I'm going to try and feed it through there. And there's no easy way to film that. So once again I'm going to try my magical piece of bendy plastic. There it is. Oh, and there it is. Fantastic. Tidy. Oh, nice. Okay. So that comes in there. This will come in here. And then I'll have a whole lot of excess. Yep. Are you filming the video? Yes. Won't the camera be able to hear this? Yes. Well then, can't I? Oh, I'll mute this part. I'll mute this part. Okay. So if that goes there, that all goes there, this fits in like this, okay. Oh, look at that, nice and tiny. The whole thing. No more funny wires lying all over the place. Cool. So I'll have to go and wire up the actual power in that fuse box. Okay, it's one day later and I've changed my plan slightly. Instead of just connecting this wire that I've fed up from above, uh, reconnecting it to the 5 volts 1 amp um, charger, uh, I'm going to put in one of these, a, a more generic one, that has two coming out, and I put a USB plug on the end of that, and so I can plug that in, tuck that in, connect that up to 12 volts, um, and that will mean that if I ever want to install a um, GPS tracker or some other gadget inside the car, I've got 5 volts ready and waiting. Now, on the... 
fuse box, there's an empty slot up here that I'm going to use. This slide here and the far right side turn on when the car is turned on. This one in the middle is always on, so if you need to something, run something constantly, you use that, but if you want it to only turn on when the car is turned on, then you use this one, something from here or something from here. And um, this slot here is going to work perfectly for it. Um, on the panel here, if you can possibly read it, there's a complete blank slate on my 2011 Nissan Leaf. On yours, it might have something in there already. So I'm going to put a little label in there. Um, I have got a... Um, I've got a terminal that I got from a recycler, a Nissan Leaf recycler, and um, just stuck that in that empty slot. And let's see if it's actually got 12 volts. There's a 5 volt fuse. Let's put the fuse in. That would help. Um, it's a 5 amp fuse. I don't have anything smaller. Uh, where are we here? So it's 11 volts with the power turned on. And drops to zero. That's just where the millivolts capacitor is discharging slowly. There it goes. And then back on. So that's good. That'll turn the dash cam on. Perfect. Okay. Light is the negative that I used for the rear seat heaters. The blue is my new wire, my new 12 volts. That's good. That's my, team, my 12 volts. Positive, positive. Okay, that's wired in. Let's just check the voltages first to make sure it's all good. Turn the car off. And we've got... Nothing. Turn the car on. Car's now on. And 11.75. That actually needs charging, but anyway. So, that goes in there. That's happy. That. Let's just see what we got here. We've got 5 volts, Whew. jumping around a wee bit, Man. I'm not sure which is more flaky, this or the charger, or the um, USB charger. Let's see how much current the, that's the sound of the dash cam charger up. And it is drawing somewhere in the vicinity of half an amp. The 5 volt is not particularly flash. Whew, holy moly. Yeah. I wonder if that's this charger or not. Alright. Um, anyway. Let's unplug that. When you turn off the dash cam, it runs for another 10 seconds. And that's it saying goodbye. Then plug it in. That's it starting up. I'll turn the car off. 
then wait 10 seconds that's it, turn it off and turn the car on that's the ACC on and that's it starting up cool I think that works so I'm going to, I'm going to uh, heat shrink put some heat shrink over this to hold it in place because I'd hate to have that drift out as it's bumping around in the car and then I'll zip tie all this in place Alright, it's in there, bit of heat shrink. Oh. Good. That's all good. Right. And then up there. There's plenty of room up above this fuse box for that to live. Okay. That's the fuse there. It's a 5 amp fuse which is a bit overpowered because this is only running at half an amp but um, I don't have anything smaller lying around so 5 amps it is and otherwise that's reasonably tidy throw this back on that's good Okay, so here's the dash cam. Let's, it's off while the car's off. And let's push the button, the on power button. Ah, excellent. And then off. And after 10 seconds. And what happens if you push the button just once? So that's ACC mode. It powers off on ACC. Good. Alright. I'm happy with that. Nice and tidy, no wires. Very nice. Okay. Thanks for watching. Cheers.